tropical forest of Panama on the island known as Barro Colorado, scientists from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute have been studying the flora and fauna for nearly 100 years. Stefan Schnitzer is one of those scientists. He studies lianas or woody vines, structural parasites that require trees for support. He found out that vines growing on tree crowns have more than doubled over the last four decades. What we found is that probably around 80% of the trees that are around us now have some com competition with vines. So vines are affecting nearly all of the trees. Some 80% are being their growth rate is being reduced because of the presence of vines. Not only growth, lianas compete for nutrients in the soil, deprive trees of light, and can choke and kill them. You could call them natural born killers. What's very interesting about these lianas is they climb up a tree. That tree falls, the liana falls with it, but the tree dies and the lianas stay alive. Schnitzer estimates that some lianas are hundreds of years old, cover dozens of trees at one time, and stretch for nearly a kilometer over the treetops. We've also found in this area, these are the howler monkeys, in this area vines are increasing in both abundance and in biomass. So there are more vines like this one here and this one here, and the ones that are here are getting bigger. Although some lianas produce fruits and habitat for animals, they are devastating for most trees. On this liana, we found more than 10 different rooting points within a few square meters. This is an enormous liana, and it's rooted right there next to the tree. It's competing for all sorts of resources. And then, to add insult to injury, it's sending up this giant stem up into the canopy where it's probably competing for light as well. Schnitzer says he believes lianas are growing faster because of drought and warmer temperatures. He says these woody vines prevent trees from growing and capturing carbon dioxide. In this clearing there are no trees. Vines have completely taken over. You can actually get our tree fall gaps that never recover or don't it may take them 20, 30 years to recover back to a full canopy because there's so many lianas preventing trees from growing. Schnitzer and his team are also working on the nearby peninsula of Gigante in another protected area. Here, hundreds of tree seedlings from 14 native species are ready to be planted. Schnitzer's team will plant these seedlings in 16 plots, half with lianas and half without them. We'll measure mortality or survival every two to three months and then we'll measure growth every six to twelve months and then after about two years or three years we'll know which tree species are going to regenerate better when lianas are present versus when lianas are absent. At the end of 20 years Schnitzer says they will know how the tropical forest is changing and how to restore and conserve it. I think the forests are definitely changing and they're they're moving in a direction that may result in more liana dominated forests and forests that will be dominated by the trees that can tolerate lianas. Why should we care? Because, Schnitzer says, tropical forests contain about one third of all global terrestrial carbon. Without trees to capture the carbon dioxide, global climate change will be an even greater threat. From the island of Barro, Colorado, in Panama, this is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.